hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to build gcp cloud function using node.js and express and then deploy it on gcp so that you can use it anywhere i will also explain you how to set permission so that you can use it for unauthorized access so let's get started here i have opened my visual studio code in the folder where i want to write my code and i also have a terminal side by side first thing i will get a node js express starter code so here is a starter code and let me copy this i will come here and create index.js file and i'll paste the code here let me just format it a bit now we need to install few things first the first thing is this google cloud platform functions framework and let me copy the string that installs it so here is the string that installs it and i'll run that so it will create a package.json file here inside my uh, folder as well now what we need to do is if i run node index.js then you can see the example app is listening on port 3000 and if i go here and if i say uh, localhost oh i think yeah localhost and 3000 yeah we see hello world because our app is sending hello world now this is node.js express application but we want to build our gcp cloud function so we need to change few things first we don't need port and we don't want to listen this express application on uh, port 3000 but instead what we need to do is that we need to export our uh, cloud function and pass request to our node.js express application like this so let me copy this and let me paste it here that means we want to export a function called hello world and instead of sending response from this we want to use our app to send the response let me save this again i want to make sure you understand this we want to export a function so this hello world will be our gcp cloud function and whenever a request comes on it we want to pass that request to our node.js express application and then we want to send response whatever we get back from our node.js express application so in order to run the function locally what we need to do is that we need to write this command function target equals to name of your function in my case it is hello world then npx this is used to run a package and when we hit enter oh i guess hello world oh my bad that is capital w you can see our function is running on localhost 8080 
and it's showing hello world so that means our function is working successfully now we need to deploy our function on gcp for that you need to install gcp client or g cloud cli make sure you install g cloud on your uh, laptop then you need to uh, follow few things first mm, i guess uh g cloud init i'm not sure if yeah i think you know mm, yeah once installed yeah g cloud init once you install g cloud on your machine you need to run g cloud init once you you know follow the steps of this command then you are good to go with g cloud and make sure you log in with the same account you know which is connected to your gcp now if i go to this cheat sheets there is a command to set the project so i will run that command g cloud config set project i am doing this step because i have different project set up on my local g cloud so it will asking me for the project name and my project name is here okay so it has set my project as this project now what i need to do is that i need to run a command g cloud functions deploy and then name of your function so if i come here the name of my function is hello world then hyphen hyphen trigger http hyphen hyphen runtime equals to node js 20 and if you come here you will see all the instruction here as well now i will run this command it will deploy the function on g cloud i am not sure i forgot or not but in order to use g cloud you need billing enable for that project and don't worry about uh, billing it's not going to cost you unless you use it you know up uh, beyond the free quota yeah it is say that yes enable and retry this okay or uh, allow unauthenticated invocation so yes so you, if you remember i have mentioned this that in uh, in order to use unauthorized invocation or unauthorized access from anywhere uh, you need to allow this step it will take few seconds cause it's really a small application now if i come here and if i go to cloud uh functions i will see hello world cloud function here and if i click here we will see more information about the cloud function you can see here details about your function and in this section there is a testing you can you know test your g cloud function using this uh, curl request so there is one more thing that i want to show you is that let's say you have uh, 
you have different functionalities or different requirements with your uh, function and you want to do different things based on route let's say you want to build api uh, what you can do is that you can add number of routes here let's say demo route and i'll say from demo okay when you save it uh, there is a problem with uh, gcp cloud functions uh, framework that it doesn't automatically refreshes so if you make any changes into the file you need to uh, restore uh, stop it and restart it so when i click here you will see this hello world is coming from this route but if i go to demo you will see from demo so we are serving two routes through single function so i hope uh, this video is helpful to you and now you have gained some knowledge uh, about gcp cloud function and now you know how to build a gcp cloud function and deploy it on gcp platform if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace